ladies and gentlemen, it is time to do something that I have dreamed about doing actually since I started YouTube in 2013. Here we are, 2022, and we are doing Nobunaga's Ambition Rise to Power in HD. Uh, for your eyeballs and, and your ear holes. I'm just going to let you know right now, I am not the absolute greatest of all time at this game, but I have played a fair deal. And I'm very excited. I'm just going to get it started. I see no reason why we shouldn't play as Nobunaga. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play with default... Uh, difficulty fictional events we're going to turn off at least for this first one I'm going to turn created officers off I don't think I've even made any but in case I have I'll turn those off casting I will leave on so we can do that and we'll watch this opening cinematic That's cool. You wouldn't think this is a game made in 2004 or 5 or whatever it was. So all of the turns are seasons. Let's see. I don't know if I should read this or not. I guess for these I will, just because they're major events. Nobunaga was standing on a hill. His top knot was untidy, and he carried his sword along with several gourds from a rope that wrapped around his waist. The warrior class aside, even the peasants ridiculed him, calling him a fool. Nobunaga was aware of this, but it didn't bother him. He saw a plume of smoke coming from a peasant's home. Nobunaga started to think about his father, Nobuhide's death. Father, why did you die? Had you lived just a little longer, you could have led your retainers as one. Nobunaga, there you are. It's almost time for your father's funeral. Please get ready for it. Oh, it's you. I, I think this is Hirate. I'm not sure. I won't be attending the funeral. Funerals are a waste of time anyway. It's not like the dead will jump up and rejoice. The chief mourner shouldn't be saying such things. It is a part of your duty as head of the clan to attend. I don't want retainers who change their attitude over a silly thing like a funeral. Nobunaga, you are a leader now. You must know and understand the feelings of your retainers. Otherwise, the clan will meet its demise at home and not on the battlefield. I see, I see. I'll only attend funerals that you attend. However, I have a plan. Great, I've prepared everything for you. Please come this way and get ready. What are you talking about? I refuse to change my clothes. There's no point in getting dressed up for someone who's dead. Besides, I have more important things to do. Nobunaga! The ceremony had already begun by the time Nobunaga arrived. Hirate, clan elder, accompanied him. The retainers became astir when they saw Nobunaga. Couldn't be helped, for Nobunaga looked no different than he did normally. He marched boldly into the room. I knew he was a fool, but didn't think he was this foolish. How dare he come to his own father's funeral looking like that? Even Nobukatsu, his younger brother, is properly dressed. Da, da, da. Nobunaga ignored the commotion and approached the altar. He grabbed some incense and threw it at the coffin. The monks stopped chanting and some of the retainers were upset. Nobunaga left the room as if nothing had happened. Masahide Hirate quickly went after him. A few minutes passed before the monk resumed his chanting. When Nobukatsu properly presented his incense, the retainer's anger began to subside. Dot dot dot. 
that Nobunaga's, or sorry, that Nobukatsu is so well mannered. He presented his incense calmly, despite what happened earlier. Just what is wrong with Nobunaga? I've never seen such behavior before. Everyone, please do not get the wrong impression. Wrong impression? What are you talking about? What Nobunaga did earlier took a lot of courage. We don't want him to be courageous about things like that. Everyone can follow the preset rules. From my opinion, his actions were most befitting of a man who is about to become a daimyo. You can say that only because you are not related to Nobunaga. There is no future left for this clan. After his incident, the retainer's attitude towards Nobunaga declined. No one could understand what Nobunaga was thinking. It would take some time before the retainers learned how gifted Nobunaga really was. <laughs> okay, long preamble there at the start. That's not going to be so important. We're mostly just going to play the game. Alright. So I'm going to do my best to explain what's going on. When I, whenever I play this game, I kind of go in autopilot. So what you're seeing here is the screen or the area of our starting base. This is Nagoya Castle, where Nobunaga always starts. You can see on the right our facilities, our gold, uh, total commerce, agriculture, troops, culture, and foreign. Foreign affects things like your castle keep, culture, I uh, I think affects different things. There is no, as best as I can tell, guide for some of this stuff. It's just my anecdotal experience from playing dozens and dozens and dozens of hours of this game. Culture seems to, ironically enough, affect the walls of your castle and your uh, defensive towers. As well as your camps when you attack. As best as I can tell. Once again, if you can give me a definitive answer one way or the other on that, I appreciate that. So we're going to start building up. I'm going to go ahead. What I always like to do is start out building uh, a garrison. I may do two garrisons and then a couple of markets. Uh, we'll let Nomenaga do this one. So you're political rating let's see show that's that's not it either what is looking for these are our officers uh where is this at i guess it is abilities here it is so this is all of the oda clan officers and i'm using my hand to show this because you can see my hand so the political rating affects stuff like building and such. That's why Nobunaga was at the top of the chart. The higher your political rating, the faster that structure will build. In this case, Nobunaga is going to take two turns to build that barracks. It may take somebody else three or four turns. I think four is as low as it goes for most of the basic structures. I have seen some take as long as five. What structures you can build is based off of what part of the country you control. Let's see, this is what I was going to do. Show you this. So we're in the southern part of the main island. Um, we don't have many options available to us. For those that are in the far west, they can build structures that has high foreign ratings. Just for example, because that's where the missionaries land. Or at least they will later on. I think they get, it gives it to you right off the rip, though, uh, in this game. And I'm going to go a little bit faster. I'm going to recruit these guys. And we're going to use some of our remaining gold to raise the loyalty of our officers. The Oda clan starts with the talisman armor. I'm going to give it to Nobunaga if your leader is defeated in battle. You lose. Give Katsuyi a, a uh, item that will increase his leadership rating. And now I'm going to develop my buildings. I'll show you. I, I went a little too quick. Go ahead and advance my turn. Okay. Sometimes, depending on what uh, character you are, officers will request to join you. In this case, we got... Um, 
Nakahide Niwa and Yoshinari Mori. Okay, so you can, you'll say, develop a facility within the thief. You just take them and improve them. In this case, not all buildings can be upgraded to the same degree. Like, well, those actually two can because I have 16 structures. Let's see if we have two of the same structures. So that market has, okay. So this market, market has a higher cap on it. It depends on what color the square is. Level one is the best. Level four is, it's not even active. Red is, it's barely active. In this case, we're going to level that up and that's all we can do because we're down to 427 gold. We will not get more gold until the new year. I spent a lot of my money um, rewarding my officers since their morale was so low. You can force draft. It will um, hurt your buildings. It will also reduce the loyalty of your citizens. If your citizens rebel, they'll attack the castle and other structures. They'll damage the town. We don't want that to happen. I consider that a priority to keep my officers at high loyalty and my citizens at high loyalty. If your citizens are at low loyalty, they'll rebel and then your officers will leave you and join other clans where they may even defect in the middle of a battle. That's something you really don't want to happen. So, Autumn... I think in autumn we just got uh, all of our food. That's when the harvest takes place. Um, I guess that's right. And then it'll show our troops will get recruited over time. It shows on the screen there if you look to your right, it'll say uh, 2060 out of 2400. Uh, we could force draft it and make it climb higher. We can wait. And that was a blizzard. Next time I'll pause and let that message play long enough so you can read it. In the winter and midwinter, the northern parts of the country will freeze. There's nothing you can do during that time. Literally comes to a standstill. So we just got Hideyoshi. He's a pretty important guy, in case you didn't know. Now that we have gold, I'm going to inspect to increase my order rating. That... Uh, you don't want to have brigands running around. They'll destroy your building. It will also make it easier for enemy spies and ninjas to infiltrate our um, thief. Hideyoshi's kind of OP. Kind of one of the main benefits of playing is the major clans is you get these really powerful, influential officers. I'm going to spend the first several years here Upgrading Nagoya Castle. And then we'll expand. To that. Not too far after. I'm actually going to prioritize leveling up the shrine. The shrine will raise your commerce rating. Getting you a little bit more gold. I guess the flavors. That, and flood will increase how many uh, crops you get. I'm not going to read this one, but I will go slow enough that you can read it if you want to. An event is taking place here.
right, we can do one more develop before we're done for the year. Level up our market to get more gold and be able to do more things in the next year. The start of the game is pretty slow. It takes a while to build up. But build up is we shall. Ooh, okay. I skipped past that message, but we just got hit by a famine. So, we did not get very much food at all. Actually, there is a harvest season. I forgot. Okay, so merchant merchant has come. Uh, how likely you are to get a merchant to visit, visit you is based off of several things. Uh, I probably will not buy anything, but I'll show you kind of what he has to offer. So, you can buy food, and you can buy horses. That'll let you have cavalry. And then you can buy muskets. Muskets are very expensive. And it will show what the market rate is right now. Mar uh, muskets, later on as they get more commonplace, that rate will go down. Horses, that goes up. Food, that depends on what time of the year it is. Sell, you can sell these various things. Get a little bit of money back. I don't want to sell anything I have right now. Something freezes here. We'll. Okay. So this. This is what you need to know. Okay. Just can't do quite a few things. Oh, here we are. We got another event. Nobunaga Oda woke up early one morning and took in the cold winter air. Upon setting foot outside, Nobunaga shouted angrily for his attendant to bring him his sandals. Do you despise me for some reason? I would never think of such a thing. I am merely your loyal and humble servant. Hideyoshi bowed until his forehead was touching the ground completely. However, it did not sound sincere to Nobunaga. Why are these sandals warm? Why, I'll bet you are using them as a cushion. No, of course not. I did not want your feet to get cold, so I kept them here in my tunic to keep them warm for you. Nobunaga thought he was lying and suddenly became very angry. Nobunaga walked around behind Hideyoshi and raised a fist in the air. However, the fist didn't come down. Nobunaga happened to see mud on Hideyoshi's chest. Nobunaga began to laugh and let go of Hideyoshi. You were telling the truth about keeping my sandals warm. What is your name, Sandal Bear? My name is Hideyoshi. Hideyoshi, thank you for thinking about me. It's my pleasure. Hideyoshi then let loose a radiant smile and laughed heartily. Very famous anecdote. There. And then Hideyoshi gets a general stat boost after that. Here we go. Nobunaga was riding his horse. Although he only swam during the months of March to September, he rode his horse all year long, regardless of whether it was too hot or too cold. There was no road unknown to Nobunaga. He always strategized how he would attack and defend an area. He wasn't just riding on his horse. To Nobunaga, it was all a matter of preparing for war. This area is quiet. He then heard his attendant shout from behind him. As he approached, Nobunaga saw that he had a serious look on his face. My lord, Masahide Hirate has died. Hirate died? Don't be foolish. I saw him just yesterday. He looked fine. He committed suicide. Suicide? Why did he have to commit suicide? It's difficult for me to say this, but he did it to help you. Nobunaga became silent. He never realized just how much he cared and worried about it. The attendant was shocked at what he saw next. Nobunaga burst into tears while still holding his horse's reins. The same Nobunaga who didn't shed a tear over his father's death was now crying over here at his death. The attendant realized that Nobunaga actually had a heart. Stupid old man. You're the only one they ever under or who ever understood me. Nobunaga turned his horse around and headed back to the castle with the attendant chasing after him. The area became quiet again. Alright. You've seen uh, armies are starting to attack each other now. Wiping each other off the board. Growing their... Growing their areas of control. Alright. 
right, now we're going to start building their troops up. There's some things that regardless of what playthrough you're doing or who you're playing at, well, I mean, it will change who you're playing at based off of who you're playing as somewhat, but there are some things regardless of how many times I have played this game that happen damn near every time. The There's another Oda clan in the game that's situated in the far east there. Here we go, Nagoya Castle, home to the Oda clan. Suddenly, somebody jumped into the room that Kicho was in. It was none other than Nobunaga, head of the Oda clan. Kicho, have some interesting news. I'm going to meet your father at Shotokuji Temple. Please stop. You do not realize what kind of man my father is. What are you afraid of? The Viper won't try to kill me because he knows you wouldn't be able to live without me. Those were harsh words, but Nobunaga didn't mean any harm. He simply wasn't the type to pay any attention to what others thought about his ideas. That was his style. On the day of the meeting, Dosan arrived at Shotokuji earlier. He was feeling mischievous and decided to hide behind the bushes near the temple so he could spy on Nobunaga from a distance. What is that? Dosan was shocked. There was Nobunaga, riding a horse and looking anything but proper. Nearby, the attendant with Dosan was trying to suppress a laugh. However, Dosan was not laughing. The troops that marched alongside him were no laughing matter. This is no ordinary fool, thought Do Dosan. Dosan changed clothes to something less formal upon returning to Shotokuji. Are you sure that is okay? There's no need for formal dress when sitting in front of a fool like that. We'll both just feel out of place. However, Dosan would only be shocked again later, for Nobunaga was dressed quite formally. It was a fine outfit which made him look dignified. This is Dosan Saito. I see. Dosan could not handle the humiliation. He felt like a fool compared to the formal dress worn by Nobunaga. It was as if Dosan had been shown up by a young child. After the meeting, Dosan spoke to his attendant. What did you think of it? Congratulations. From the looks of him, I think Mino will be just fine. There's nothing to be happy about here. My own children will be regulated to, try, uh, to tying down his horse outside the castle gates. Tying down a horse outside the castle gates was essentially the job of a lowly servant. Upon hearing this, Dosan's heir, Yoshitatsu, was outraged. Father, are you saying that fool is greater than your own son? From this point onward, Dosan wrote Nobunaga letters regularly, and the two became closer. However, his relations with Yoshitatsu began to sour. Okay, I am at the, so this is something that your allies can do. They'll ask you if you want to join them in attacks. I am going to refuse because if I accept, he's going to invade that area, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. So we are going to start a rumor, which if left alone will make it so that it, the officer loyalty in that beef goes down. But if we have a ninja master there, we can approach officers directly and ask them if they want to defect and join us. So we're going to ask this guy here. Nobunaga's ambition, they have a friend system. Kind of, if you've ever played Romance of the Three Kingdoms, um, it's like the Sworn Brother or Close, I forget exactly how that could, but you can, when you're creating characters, you can make it to where they have really close relations with either a certain group of people or just a specific person. That same system is kind of in this game. I know from playing in the history, Hideyoshi is a friend of Masakatsu, Masakatsu uh, Hachisuka. 
or however you say his name. I'll try not to say it as much as possible because it's just blistering. Matter of fact, the game is trying to help me out. Sometimes, for better or for worse, if you want uh, one of your officers to do something, one will volunteer to do it. In this case, Hideyoshi himself is already wanting to do it. He said, I promise I will not let you down. So he just outright left and joined us. Now we can ask somebody else, such as, uh, let's ask Hidetaka Kawajiri. He says he would join me, however, he's not going to leave. When the time comes, I will be more than happy to agree to join me. That means that he will actually defect to me in the middle of the battle. I don't, he's usually not deployed when I play and go this route. I'm going to refuse again. He may end up attacking anyway, and my plans will be shot here. So. I would normally wait till I have more troops, but it seems that the Saito really want to take Kiyosu Castle, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So if you, this is your battle screen, you select your target. I can only connect or attack thieves that are directly next to mine. There's Anatsu Castle, there is Okazaki, and then there's Kiyosu. I want to attack Kiyosu. Puts us in a good position. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit Auto Select. And then if there's something that I see here that I don't like, I'll just change it out. But this looks good. The auto-select is generally pretty reliable. So they have more soldiers than I do. So, so they're going to leave the defenses of their castle and come out to meet me in battle. I have it set to where I can either choose to do the castle or allow the computer to auto-resolve. I will participate in as many battles as I can... Um, just especially early on for fun. Okay, so I know that Hidetaka is going to join me. Uh, something I do have here, you can see the hourglass. If I select my units, the game will pause until I tell them what to do. That's something that you have to turn on. I prefer to play that way. Um, because the way that I play, I usually send my whole army to one area. I know that that sounds silly, but brute force, a lot of times, is the best way to win in this game. The computer can react a lot faster than you can to your forces being split up than you, you can. And they will, on a dime, target the weak link and go. And it takes a while for your soldiers to move across the field. So I have Nobunaga, who is an archer unit. So Nobunaga's abilities are Volley 2, Swift, Demolish, and Block. Block is an item that I gave him. or it The ability comes from an item that I gave him at the start of the video where it'll make it to some attacks that land on him simply will not do damage. Very useful ability. Volley 2 is based off his, he has to be using some type of unit type that can shoot. In this case, um, in this game, the main two ones that you'll see is archers and riflemen. Swift just means that his unit moves faster than a normal unit. Demolish means his uh, attacks do more damage to buildings. Counter two would be like volley, except for the spearmen. In this case, Hideyoshi has counter too. It is sometimes a damage that is dealt to them while this ability is active will return it. Swift, he moves faster. Rally, you can use up a large amount of your food and your morale, excuse me, your morale will go up across the board. And then Masakatsu is a very powerful unit in itself. Oh man. My food's coming back to bite me a little bit. So the defenses at this base are fairly weak. I'm going to target this spearman in hopes that he will get into this fortress to defend it, which will leave the archers here by himself. When units occupy a structure, 
they will heal. So I'm hoping that by doing damage to him first, he will g try to get into the fortress. He did, but my unit cut him off. So Hideyoshi's taking a lot of damage here. Taking a lot of damage. Okay. Now that Masakatsu's here, they got the advantage. Okay, so Hidetaka just went into this building. I'm going to get him to defect, and then this building will be mine because his troops are the ones that occupy it. Okay, so now I'm going to select Hideyoshi and put him in the building so he can get all his troops back. Um, just entering a building will not guarantee you a full heal. If you take a certain amount of damage, it caps your regenerative abilities. So now that my morale is really high where I took a building, I can use skills. So now counter is active on those that have it. And now volley is active on Nobunaga who has it. And I don't know if Hitataka has any ability. He has charge one, which would only be useful if he had cavalry soldiers, which... The Sheba that we're attacking here, they do not. Or if they do, they're choosing not to use it. So I'm going to get Hidemitsu Akechi here, defeat him, stop his damage output. Now I'm going to attack his main structure here. So winning this battle is only half of the war. We still need to take the castle. Sometimes if you have a lot more soldiers than the enemy does, they will just hole up in the castle so they can fight you at their full strength with the defenses of their castle. I'm sure we'll see that quite a bit. Okay, so now that I have attacked the castle, I can either go on, or I'm sorry, won the field battle. I can choose to continue on and attack the castle. Or withdraw, take my victory, and leave. Your commander will offer you their advice. Uh, he says, I'm worried about our provisions. We have 19 days worth of food left. I think that's plenty. This castle will be really small since it's the beginning of the game. This is their castle. It's very small, like I said. They have a couple officers with spears that have counter. That's something I'm scared of. Um, Hidemitsu also has volley for his archers. Because they're defending their castle, they have really high morale so they can use their skills right away. I'm going to try and finesse this a little bit. Um... Sometimes if you attack the town, they'll come out of the castle to fight you. It looks like the troop difference is too high, though. They're not going to go for it. Okay. Since some of my units have swift and some do not, I am going to allow my slower units to catch up so we fight at full strength. Plus, since Nobunaga is so fast, he may end up in front of his spearmen, which we really don't want to happen. So, whenever they're defending a castle like this, the the enemy commander is not going to come out. But uh, Nakayasu here at Hidemitsu, the chances that they will are fairly high. Nobunaga ended up in front of all of his spearmen anyway, so I'm going to hit enter to try and get him to go back. Since counter is active, I am going to put my aggro onto another unit. He gets free hits on me right now. Nagayasu does. He's actually going to go around and try and get Nobunaga. 
I don't want to attack him directly right now because he has counteractive. And a lot of the damage I do will just be done back to me. So I'm going to try and run. Let his counter ability wear off. I know I know the counter ability is gone when he's not doing the little purple thing. Nomenaga's taking a bunch of hits right now. But he has the block ability, which is greatly reducing the amount of damage done to him. We're attacking this gate. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and charge in and try and take this defensive tower and hope that Nobunaga's defenses stay strong on. Now that I'm attacking this, Nagayasu goes, oh shit, I got to go back and defend the castle. So his AI will prioritize defending the castle over defeating the enemy commander. And now that I have this tower, I can put my troops in it, heal, and I get all my skills. It swung the momentum in the battle has shifted so much that the morale for my forces skyrocketed. So I was ultimately able to do all of that without taking significant damage to my units enough that it makes it to where I've actually lost troops. It was all damage that I could heal back. So I did by entering this small tower. And now that this tower is mine, it will shoot at them and allow, once again, my troops to enter it and heal. So to win these battles, you either have to defeat the enemy commander, one, which you could either taunt them or corner them or something like that, or you have to take the main keep of the castle. Or they have to run out of provisions. But that's normally not something that's going to happen. Especially if it's their main base like that. So now that we have taken the Sheba's last or their only castle. Every single one of their officers are captured. So since I need pretty much just officers period. I'm going to ask all of these guys to join me. They're telling me no. Okay now Masa says he will. Nagayasu says he will, which is good. He's very powerful. Nobuyasu will not, and I know that he is an enemy of Nobunaga. He's the opposite of a friend. He never joins. If you do somehow manage to con him into getting you to join, his loyalty will slowly tick down regardless of what you do. I'm just going to execute his ass. Hironobu, I know he's the same way, so I'm just going to get rid of him. Yoshimune Shiba, I'm going to let him go. Enemy leaders or daimyo will not join you, but I'm going to let him go. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch all my officers over. And then I'm going to look through here and go, who do I not need? I don't need Hayashi. I don't need Nelmasa Bon. I don't need Nagoya. We'll put him at Nagoya Castle. It seems kind of fitting, really. And then we'll put one more good officer there just to help that. Uh, castle continue to grow. We'll put Sasa. Alright, and I think that's a good enough time as any to call it for our first episode. I really hope you've enjoyed. I, and I hope to see you next time. If you have any suggestions for audio levels and such like that, do let me know. And I can play around with it. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll try and keep them a little bit shorter from now on, though. See you next time. Bye-bye.